Alright, so in this video, we're gonna talk about how to convert a 2D PNG like you created something in Photoshop. Uh, let me show you, I got this example. Like you can create this in Photoshop, it's like total PNG. And if you wanna convert into a, like a 3D model if you want to for like something for your game or something like that. So we're gonna convert that image into this thing. So the catch about that is you need like to import an SVG file. So SVG file is that you have to convert uh, in Photoshop and in Illustrator I tried but it didn't go well. So I just got to this website you can watch the link over if it's here. So I came over here and just so you are in here go to your blender and then import import SVG and where did you save it uh, over here you see that import S svg import has come uh, you can delete all the rest the default things over here like that so the logo is really pretty small so like over here you can see it uh, i don't know about the textures it does have now or uh, you can add texture later on okay so uh, you okay do this select object because it's gonna be like curves so these have like all different objects it's gonna be like in hundreds of numbers so select this select objects and scale it 10 times okay and then roll j okay now it's done so it it like it with the control j basically does is just uh, joins everything in just one thing now it's joined you can do it uh okay yeah set origin origin to geometry and shift s that's it it's in the center i don't know how it selects the geometry but okay and go to the object before before like making it 3d go to the object convert it into a mesh okay select it convert it into a mesh you see it changes from curve to mesh again okay, i can name it avengers logo okay nice that's all uh, and you go over here as you can see it's, it's uh, really pretty pretty so much so what you can do is press a select all and press e and extrude it uh maybe that much will be good yep hope so that the thing okay you can see you made it 3d object and if you want you can create it smooth also but that does make it so much weird so that's the logo over here and if you want like texturing i can do that also wait a second uh just okay just to go through over here uh maybe let's see if the back face spelling thing is on uh, like by getting like yep we have to do this so object and no go to the this everything is selected go mesh normal flip okay wait a second no recalculate outside and also do the uv thing so that we can texture it properly uh this thing has a lot of lot of like points like you know water six so this is gonna be like so much laggy so you make sure that the computer is good you can do it in easy like a low-end computer also but it will take time okay so that's how it's done and now if you want like you can add something like uh i'll remove this for 35 objects have like their own different color image texture open it like maybe I can add this only yep uh, to the material view as you can see the material comes fine I don't know if the same thing it is I will just add some metallic to it so that it looks awesome to me and a little bit of roughness down okay and something else is there I can see I make maybe I can make some emission of this kind and make it like 0 0.05 okay mm, enter 
okay let's do it 0 0.0005 yeah that's gonna do it and now we're gonna do the setup thing it's just really easy add a mesh uh, d d wasn't okay no i thought i was in edit, edit mode so that's all scale it to 100 yeah 100 would be fine add a camera okay camera has been added and select the camera and you can add the resolutions i like this because i'm not gonna make it hd okay i'm gonna make it square so that does things and if you have like a dedicated gpu you can select gpu cycles and gpu compute uh, you definitely don't want these much samples just reduce them to 64 or something that will do the thing make sure the denoise is on and press numpad 0 and you will be okay and you will be gone to the camera view so now i will be just adjusting its view so that i can get a uh, image for the photoshop or maybe thumbnail so if you guys like enjoy this video find this video helpful uh, you can hit that like button and if you are new to the channel make sure to hit the subscribe button and press the notification bell so you never miss a new update or quick fix to the guides and tutorials thanks for watching